Hi guys. So yesterday I had the Cafe Bustello and I'm finally down off that high. And so my dear friend Colleen texted me and said, why don't you make the Dalgona coffee since you have the um, instant coffee? This is instant espresso. Don't know how that's going to be, but I decided to try it. So right now I'm making some hot water because you do need some hot water. And in my bowl, I have two teas, two tablespoons of Cafe Bustello Instant and uh, two tablespoons of sugar. It's like a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio. I'm just going to get the hot water. And then, hi, Petey. Pixie's here. And Leo's here. And we're all going to have some Dalgona coffee. I was thinking, why not do it with the... Um, regular coffee like the flavored coffee that I have tons of in the house but I was reading that actually you can't use regular coffee only because non-instant coffee the ground coffee has the coffee oils in it and that doesn't allow it to froth like the um, instant coffee does the chemicals that they treat the instant coffee with is what makes it froth so yay chemicals um, okay my water's boiling so I'm gonna go grab two tablespoons of it put it in my bowl and I'll be right back okay so I'm back um I'm whipping Leo no one wants to see your butt um so I'm making the coffee froth here come over here and look at that um I don't have an emulsifier and I don't think this is enough to use my hand my um, regular mixer so I'm gonna use the the whisk it says you can so it is getting frothy and Pixie doesn't like the fact that I'm doing this and neither does Leo. It smells really good though. It smells like coffee. And then you're supposed to take, don't stick your hand in there. That's disgusting. Nobody wants that. So what you're supposed to do is take a cup of iced coffee or like, you know, coffee with ice cubes in it cold or um, milk. Really, cat? You're messing up my frothing flow. And you mess up. Stop. So what you're supposed to do. Do they have these problems on Food Network? I don't think so. So you're supposed to take a cup of cold milk with ice in it or cold coffee with ice in it. And this is what you put the froth on. This is taking forever. So I'm... I'm going to pause this while I do it because I'm going to go smack this kid cat and finish my froth. I'll be right back. Alante, I'm back for all you Doctor Who fans out there. Okay, so I made the cream and it's actually really kind of frothy. It's thick. I'm not spending too much more time on this. It's thick enough for me. This cat's really on my nerves today. Um, so I have my cup of iced almond milk. My llama mug. And I'm going to scoop some froth on top. I should taste it first before I throw this in here. In case it's poop. This froth is really cool. I could have made it a little more frothy, but I'm lazy. Mmm. It's cool. It's like, um, you'll get some. Um, it's like froth. Um, coffee froth. It's like really good. It's like a melted coffee ice cream. That's what it tastes like. Melted coffee ice cream. I like it. I would eat it just like this because I like melted ice cream. I like it. Okay, so now let's try it on top of my almond milk. Ready? it's cool it's different I don't normally use sugar like pure sugar like that so it could be a treat for me um you can't see it because I don't have a glass mug um let's see no that's not right. when Kelly does it on on Facebook her pictures look super pretty mine's not that pretty so all in all it tastes good I like the froth I think I might just like eat the froth Forget the almond milk. 
and um, got a good view of the inside of my mouth, huh? Okay, so it wasn't, it was a success, I think. I'll make it again. It was super easy. It only took me about three or four minutes to, to beat by hand. That's nothing. And all it was was two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of the instant espresso coffee, and two tablespoons of hot water. And that gave me a lot. I have a super ton for, look, I got a lot for a few cups of coffee. So, um, and it says that it'll keep in the fridge for a few days. So we'll try and see. I'll try it again tomorrow. All right. So that was for you, Colleen. I made the Dalgona coffee. It was pretty good. I like it. Good treat. Good sugary coffee treat. Cheaper than going to Dunkin' or Starbucks, I'll tell you that. I'll hop on the bandwagon. Why not? I'll make it. Thanks for the idea, Colleen. If you guys have any more ideas for me to try something, um, I have tons of coffee and tons of instant coffee, so give me some recipes.